Welcome to step 5 in the print and screen settings section of the transfer rib video. This is where we add and customize rasters for our images. The first option that we can see in the top window is the output menu. The output section allows you to choose the Oki printer, the amount you would like to print and whether you would like to mirror the image or not. For first time users the printer menu may display the wrong printer. Please choose the Oki printer you would like to use from the printer drop down menu. The printer drop down menu will display all the installed printers from your computer's hard drive. The next option we can see is the copies option. This option is self explanatory, letting you choose how many times you would like to print your image. Choose the number of printouts by typing the required number. The last option in the output window is the mirror tool. This option lets you choose whether to mirror your image or not. For garment printing we should print our images mirrored. You can see if your image needs to be mirrored or not by taking a look at the preview image in step 4. Click back to return to the white toner controls in step 4. If your image has any text and you can read this text in the preview window, then we need to mirror the image back in step 5 by choosing the mirror horizontal option. If you cannot read the text in the image, then you do not need to mirror the image as the image has already been saved in the mirror view. Return to step 5 by clicking next and choose your option from the mirror drop down menu. For this design we can read the text so we need to mirror the image by choosing the mirror horizontal option. Below the output menu we have the screening menu. The screening menu refers to the rasterization of your images. The rasterization feature places small holes in the image which makes the image more durable, washable, produces better colors, provides a unique look, all while saving you toner. In combination with the white toner controls where we are saving up to 35% toner, the rasterization feature saves you an additional 25% on your overall toner costs. That's up to 60% in total toner savings. If you take a look at the screening or rasterization drop down menu, you can see that we have 5 options to choose from. The first option in the menu is the use screening from printer option. This option does not apply a raster to the image. To print your image without the raster dots, choose this option. This option is best used for open designs like text, shapes, lines or small objects. The second option we have in the drop down menu is the use screening as configured option. This option is not a raster per se, but rather provides the controls for manipulating the image colors. This is the least used option within the transfer rib and will disappear from the list very soon. In the meantime, this option is best ignored. The third option in the rasterization list is the light media raster. Use screening as configured as a mask, recommended for bright media. The light media raster is best suited for printing onto light garments or media. Using the light media raster for printing onto dark garments is not recommended. The reason for this is because the light media raster removes the light areas of the image, and the light areas of the image are necessary when printing onto dark garments. The fourth option in the rasterization drop down menu is the dark media raster option. Use screening as configured as a mask recommended for dark media. The dark media raster is best used for printing onto dark garments. To have a successful transfer onto dark garments, one with high washability, great colors and soft touch, then the dark areas of the image are not required. Dark media raster is not recommended for printing onto light garments and media. This is because the dark media raster removes the dark areas of the image, which are required for printing images onto light garments. The last option in the menu is the Micromask option. Use Micromask. The Micromask raster is similar to the previous two rasters in that it places holes in the image. But this raster option is not suitable for photographs or images with gradients or shading. The Micromask raster can be used on both light and dark colored garments and is best used for vector graphics, logos, large areas of toner without gradients or shading. Next, make sure that the printer settings are correct. For laser dark no cut low temp, we need the transparency media option. To remove the click online message which appears on the OK printer menu, please unclick the custom media box, then change the input tray to automatic tray detection. The next thing we need to do is change the output tray option to left side of printer face up. The click online message will no longer appear. The last options in the print settings menu are the offset options. These two fields allow you to move the position of the printed image on the media. This feature is also available in your printer's menu. The reason we have the offset options here is for easy access. 
If your registration is off, then your printed image will be cut off or not print fully. Offset X moves the printable area left and right, while Offset Y moves the printable image up or down. Next, choose which measurement unit you would like the Offset X and Y fields to use. The last option in step 5 is the ICC profile selection. ICC profiles are custom color profiles which can be used instead of the standard transfer rib color profiles. You will see more options at the bottom of the window.